The family of 11-year-old Ruvarashe Takamhanya, who was killed in a road accident involving a U.S. diplomat in Zimbabwe, is calling for the diplomat to return to Zimbabwe and apologize in person. Ruvarashe, who wanted to be a pilot, was hit by the diplomat's vehicle on June 3rd while walking to school in Dima, a town near Harare. Zimbabwe has identified the diplomat as Eric Kimpton, the U.S. Embassy Second Secretary. Her parents, Juliana Vito and Sylvester Takamhanya, have expressed deep pain and disappointment, stating that although they received financial support from the U.S. Embassy and the diplomat's colleagues apologized, the lack of a personal apology has left them feeling abandoned. Juliana Vito, Ruvarache's mother, learned of the accident from neighbors and was devastated by the loss. The diplomat reportedly left the scene, and while he initially expressed a desire to contact investigators later, he left Zimbabwe soon after with his family. The Zimbabwean government has criticized the diplomat's conduct, with presidential spokesman George Karamba condemning the use of diplomatic immunity as a pretext to avoid responsibility. The U.S. State Department has confirmed ongoing support for the family and is cooperating with local authorities in the investigation. Government spokesperson Nick Mangwana emphasized that while the accident was tragic, it should not affect diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe Republic Police spokesman Commissioner Paul Nyathi told VOA that the police who attended the scene were told by senior U.S. embassy officials that he, Kimpton, needed a period to rest, but were told later he was no longer in the country. The documentation process hasn't been completed and the matter is still before the police because we could not proceed with the formalities in his absence. It appears he is no longer coming back to Zimbabwe. Hence, investigations have stalled. Ruvarashi's parents, who had high hopes for her future, are struggling with their grief. They want the diplomat to return and offer a personal apology, as this would provide some measure of closure. In a statement published last week, the U.S. Embassy in Harare alleges that the diplomat in question complied with all local procedures when the accident took place. The U.S. Embassy expressed its sincere condolences and deep sadness regarding the tragic death of a school-aged girl near Dima, in Zimbabwe, on June 3, 2024. The U.S. Embassy, including the U.S. diplomat involved in the accident, transparently complied with local officials following the accident. The diplomat involved in the accident has since departed Zimbabwe. U.S. Embassy representatives have been in communication with the family and community, including attendance at the funeral and support for the girl's family. The U.S. Embassy recognizes the devastation of this accident for all involved and will continue to communicate and cooperate with the police and other officials as they complete their investigation. Our thoughts are with the family and loved ones of the girl a spokeswoman for the embassy said in a statement. Texas-based human rights lawyer Kennedy Massier says diplomats are protected under international law. Massier said that diplomats are protected from prosecution under international law. Zimbabwe is a signatory to the Vienna Convention, which protects diplomats from being prosecuted criminally or in civil court. Massier admitted that Harare can ask for a waiver, though he notes that it is up to Washington to lift the immunity for the diplomat to stand trial.